Welcome. One of our great reporters at the station is uh, Alex George. And when she's not working at the station or out in the community, she likes to uh, cook sweet things. So I'm loving her series called Sweet Memories. Food that will remind you of your childhood. You know, and maybe times were better in your life. You just love what your mom and dad made. So first up, somebody asked her to make a special kind of almost gourmet version of a s'more. S'mores? Well, s'mores at home. Here's Alex. Alex, I haven't had s'mores since I went to camp. Can you make me s'mores? Yes, we can make s'mores. So a traditional s'more, you got graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate, pretty straightforward but you usually need a campfire. So today, we're gonna take it up a notch. We're giving you portable s'mores. The best way to eat a s'more, my favorite way, a s'mores bar. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We are gonna take this brown sugar situation and this butter. We're gonna melt it all down on the stove and eventually, we're gonna turn it into a dough. Oh. gonna cool down and we're gonna add in egg and vanilla. <laughs> okay, we added the egg. We couldn't wait any longer. We're adding vanilla. I always eyeball vanilla. Baking powder into flour. Whoa, whoa, we whoa. There we go. Uh, the, that's really like why I'm wearing the apron. Cause it's just, it's like an instant towel. I'm not even really protecting the top half of myself at all. I still wanted you to see my cute sweater from Target. It's gonna be kinda runny but it's gonna make a really delicious blondie-esque sort of dough that's still like gooey when it's cooked. So, yeah, that's the vibe. This is the worst spatula probably ever created on Earth, I think. Um, I don't know who made it, but I would like to hold them accountable. We are moving this dough into the pan of which we made a, a baby sling for. And we're gonna spread it into a pretty thin layer using my favorite kitchen tool, which won't disappoint me, and that's called an offset spatula. Do you wanna try the dough? It's really delicious. Shrimp break. It's a break for you to eat shrimp. Okay, swing. Uh, we're just gonna test these, make sure they come out with a little nothingness, and they did. So cheers to that, and we're gonna take them out with this cute little, uh, what is this? Um, uh, come on, <laughs> come on, what are you called? Mean, oven mitt, it's, uh, it's oh. an oven mitt. Oh, I thought we were trying to guess what animal it was. We've got our bottom sort of graham crackery cookie layer, and to make it s'mores, all we're gonna do for the chocolate layer is add chocolate chips to this. And because it's hot, it's fresh out of the oven, the chocolate chips are just gonna melt right on top. We are making marshmallow from scratch. First thing you've got to do is get cream of tartar and you're gonna mix that up in a stand mixer. It has to be a stand mixer. A hand mixer just won't do the job. She's not strong enough. It's not her fault, she just wasn't made that way. And we're gonna add egg whites. Now we're adding this into the cream of tartar. We're gonna whisk this up. Sugar. Now we're gonna add corn syrup. Corn syrup. Now we have what will eventually become our marshmallow, so we're gonna take it over to the stove and we're gonna cook it down. And uh, that was not a Deer Park water bottle. This is most certainly not sponsored by Deer Park, but what delicious water. Just kidding. Okay, we're gonna take this to the stove. I accidentally left my water ball in the shot. But I want you to think I'm pristine, neat, and clean. And also that I'm 5'6". There we go. And off, 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 off. All right. Marshmallow fluff in the jar is already delicious, so I just, there is no way to go wrong by making it yourself. These are the best s'mores of all time. Homemade marshmallow on top of a graham cracker blondie 
with milk chocolate in the middle, my favorite kitchen tool. This, this is fulfilling parts of me I didn't even know needed to be fulfilled. There she is. There she is. This s'mores bar. Dave, please enjoy. It, it's not burnt. It's just I, the stove is burnt. <laughs> so. There's one of my housemates that didn't actually want to get new bowls. She said, you guys are putting the bowls in the dishwasher. They're not supposed to be in the dishwasher. I'm fine with them looking ruined. I don't want to get new bowls. I don't want to spend the money. I said, hey, if you're not gonna do it, you're not using bowls. She was like, I don't use bowls. And I was like, you're telling me you don't use bowls. And so she goes, yeah, and I go, pasta. She goes, plate. I go, soup. And she goes, cup. I said, oh, you My friend Alexa ordered them. She thought they were gonna be bowls. She ordered 12 bowls. Just what she was like, I'll hide them in my room. We were like, no, she's gonna wonder. We were like, why can't you return them? She was like, I don't know, I can't return them. And I was like, what if we all just pretend like we don't know they're giant? Like we eat our same size <laughs> meal in the giant bowl and just continue life as is. So you have this huge bowl. Yeah, and if she comes in, she's like, why are the new bowls so big? You're like, I don't know what you're talking about. This is a very regular sized bowl. Alex, I will take a dozen. Uh, by the way, if you want Alex to make something special for you, uh, if you have a sweet memory, hit me up on Twitter and I'll pass it along to Alex, okay? My uh, handle is MikeFox29.